the CAM programmer is getting those programs out quicker and we can be confident uh, when they run the machine that everything is verified, fully collision checked and safe to run. So it really speeds up that, that setup time on the machine. Welcome to MTD's Technical Corner. I'm here with Tom from uh, Hypermill by Open Mind, and we're going to be talking about virtual machining. Now, first of all, Tom, surely the program spat out by Hypermill, the NC code that you go and run on the machine, surely that is absolutely right because you've done some internal machine simulation in your Hypermill program, and you've been simulating this, these things for, for 15 years. Um, why do you need to simulate the NC code that's spat out by the pro post processor? So traditionally in industry, you would have a machine model simulation and a, a post-processor. And that brings up some issues that are avoidable that when you use virtual machine that wouldn't necessarily be avoidable if you were to use a, a generic machine model simulation. And what, mach what problems might there be? Because since you've got a machine model, surely that has every cover, every spindle, every bit of trunnion and your fixturing, surely that would catch all the problems in the program side before you've post-process the, the program. So what extra problems might you have in the NC code? So the problems you might come, come across is um, a collision with certain features on the machine model, such as you know, maybe a coolant block or some fixturing that's in your machining, set up and then of course staying within the machining envelope, the working envelope of the machine um, to stay within the machine limits. And there's all these problems, I guess, if you, if you hit up against one of those, you've had to post the program out, you've had to take it to the machine, you're running it, you're watching it, you run all the way through until you hit one of those problems and you have to go back to the, your PC in the office and try and try and fix that. And you do this, this kind of loop of error fix, error fix, and that takes a long time. Yeah, that can be very time consuming and, and quite frustrating for the, for, the, for the user, for the operator. So with virtual machine and the optimizer, uh, with the, which is a post-processing function, so after you've programmed your, your Hypermill session, if it sees uh, an issue, such as it's going out of limits in a certain axis, or there's something there that it needs to avoid a collision with, that happens automatically at the post-processing stage. So there is no going back to your program and making changes to make it suit in certain orientations. That's happened automatically for you. Which is quite nice, because most of the time, the CAM system is almost just like a tool to to spit out the NC code and then you're kind of left to it. You as the operator or the engineer running the machine, you have to take that program and you have to make sure it actually makes a good part without damaging any of the machinery um, or even making a, making a part that's out of tolerance. So how does um, Hypermill make sure that when you set up your job in the machine and all your tools, they um, normally it's your job to make sure that those the physical setup matches the digital setup. And that's, that's quite a cumbersome process. Yeah, absolutely. And we call virtual machine a, di a digital twin. Uh, it's in the CAM world, in the virtual world, it's exactly what you get on the machine. And when it comes to that, that final process of running it on the machine, we have something called connected machining. So connected machine is exactly that. You connect into the machine and it's a two-way conversation between the virtual machine in the virtual world and your physical machine. So we are checking things like tool lens offsets, uh, work offsets. And if there is a mismatch between the two, uh, it will flag that as a collision, but set the, similar to the optimizer, it will resolve this problem for you. It will move your part on the machine, then go through the collision checking process again. You know it's 100% safe, and then we can run on the machine. And I've used systems like this in the past, but normally they flag the errors up, which is great. They surface those problems before you hit the machine, but they don't solve any of the problems for you. Now, is there anything the operator or engineer has to do if they have the full virtual machines uh, system? Oh, Rowan, so this is the first system available that will solve those issues for you automatically and also in one integrated system, no third party software software involved. And it takes out the, the backwards forwards of the, the, the CAM programmer, but also the verification on the machine as well. Um, so for, for the manual intervention is minimal to nothing. It sounds like the kind of thing that you'd be able to post the program out, put it in the machine, press go and, and almost walk away. I guess you'd still watch it, but that means you could almost walk away and leave it to run. Absolutely, yeah. Um, obviously we never say w walk away, uh, but um, we, we had situations, um, uh, customers and, and, and partners, where they were a little bit skeptical, um, two or three tool paths, those guys are pretty much happy to, to press the button and watch it, watch it run. It sounds like the perfect system to get absolute trust in your CAM programs, which I guess every workshop in, in the UK and I hope the world would probably want. But 
how affordable really is it? Can, can everyone use this system? So in, in every machine shop, workshop, uh, the machines are charged out at an hourly rate and more often than not, uh, the largest amount of time is used on setting up and verification, dry runs and, and making sure that, that everything's safe. Uh, worst case, uh, the machine's even waiting for a program to come from the programming office. Um, so with virtual machine and the optimizer, the, op uh, the CAM programmer is getting those programs out quicker and we can be confident uh, when they run the machine that everything is verified, fully collision checked and safe to run. So really speeds up that, that set up time on the machine. Okay, if someone's listened to that and thinks, I need someone to come in and help me try and work out what my return on investment is going to be, I need a system like this, let's, let's try and work out how we can afford it. Who do they need to get in touch with? Uh, so, yeah, so they can get in touch with, with Open Mind and we're more than happy to come and, and demo the software. We're very confident in it that we will do what we need it to do um, so we can run tests and trials to help the uh, potential customer build that confidence.